Hello, my name is Basant Gobin, President and CEO of Digital Measurement Metrology Incorporated. Our dedication to the highest industry standards for value, quality, service, and technological advancement in the field of metrology is driven by a strategy of continuous improvement and solid teamwork. The DMM group of companies promises to provide the highest standards of work and customer service to all our clients, large or small. Personalized attention and a solid guarantee of satisfaction will always be the principal features of this organization. Thank you. State-of-the-art technology, innovative business strategies, behind the scenes, insights from cutting edge users around the globe on 21st Century Business with Alexander Hay. Welcome to 21st Century Business. I'm Alexander Haig. If the goal of your business is to make a quality product or service, then metrology can have a significant impact. Basant Gobin, President, CEO, and Technical Advisor of Digital Measurement Metrology, or DMM, is here to discuss how his company is addressing this. Welcome, Basant. We're delighted to have you. Thank you, Al. Um, uh, it's a privilege to be here to explain on behalf of my company how we have influenced uh, the manufacturing sector using our technology and the science of measurement. Now, Basant, what is metrology? Uh, metrology is the science of measurement, and uh, what that is is really everything you, look, you see around you has to be measured in some way, shape, or form. Most people don't recognize it, but that's what it is. And so that's what the science is about measurement, period. I see. Now, why should a business have an interest in metrology? Well, if you think about it, uh, any product that is made, the quality of the product is dependent on how it's actually produced. And therefore, the accuracy with which the measuring instruments are that are used in the, in the actual manufacturing process, if they're not accurate, they cannot be used properly. Right. for this particular function. And then the product could be bad or good or, you know, it all depends on the actual product itself. Uh, it varies depending, like, for food products. Do you want your product to be good quality food or bad quality food? Mm -hmm. uh, and it goes all the way up to the high technology, things like aerospace, um, biosciences, and everything. So it affects every form of activity on the planet, basically. For more, let's go to this 21st Century Business Field Report. Everything that is manufactured must be measured. Quality is dependent upon adherence to strict dimensional specifics with authentication of ISO, IEC standards. With 25 years of experience in the field, Digital Measurement Metrology recently launched Shimana, the new name in measurement. Digital Measurement Metrology was organized to offer high precision, high technology measuring solutions for the manufacturing sector so that they could improve on quality control processes. The technology was developed to help manufacturers better control their processes for making quality products. A highly qualified technical staff is necessary to achieve this objective. DMM offers sales of new metrology products, service, installation, and accredited calibration to the manufacturing sector. This forms an integral part of their process, because if you cannot measure accurately, you cannot produce quality products. With a long history, mature with industry expertise and knowledge, Digital Measurement Metrology continues to support their clients with a unique blend of quality tested instruments, processes and services. For 21st Century Business, I'm Christopher Thomas reporting. Now, Bassan, why was DMM established? DMM was established uh, to bring to the industry uh, specialty measuring capability using high technology equipment, uh, including sales, service, and accredited calibrations to the manufacturing sector. Mm -hmm. Now, what types of products or services do you offer? Uh, we offer the complete package, and that would include the actual measuring instruments, Mm -hmm. uh, the services that goes with it, so uh, the calibration, which is, I, I emphasize on accredited calibrations, mm -hmm. and also the actual backup 
field information that customers might need, how to use the equipment, uh, how they apply to different uh, manufacturing uh, industries, mm -hmm. and uh, any of the other products that they might require. So we have a, a wide variety of instrumentation, as well as the know-how that we can provide to these companies. How is DMM affected by manufacturing sectors move away from North America? At the moment, we are quite intuitive about this. We've been looking ahead at what's going on in the industry, and a lot of the manufacturing sectors are moving out and uh, to other countries where the labor costs are cheaper and so on. But the one thing that is left behind is the services that are always going to be required. So what we do is provide an ongoing supply of services, and we try to tighten and look forward to creating different technologies that will help. Right. Uh, for instance, online support. When we do accredited calibrations for customers, they can now see the calibration certificates online. Uh, we try to make uh, also products that are suitable for, the, for their particular use, that are uh, less expensive. Uh, we just recently launched a new company called Shimana, a, a line of products that is uh, effective, that they can use the smaller group of, of uh, companies that are now getting into the marketplace that they can make use of because locally made uh, instruments are really too high in prices. So we're trying to look ahead and supply the proper equipment that they need that can help them to produce quality products. Now, Basant, the internet has drastically changed the way distributors sell products. How has your company adjusted to this evolution? What we've done is actually, uh, we've developed a way of getting products particular not mixed up. Like if you go to the web today, you will notice that you have everything lumped into one and you got to, you know, customers to kind of run through it and try and pick out what they want. What we've done is we are launching a number of sites with specific products. So if you're looking for a computer, that's all you see. Mm -hmm. And we find that this is easier for customers to navigate and go straight to what they're looking mm. for because the array of products are so large. That would be the ideal thing, I think. Yeah, very good. Now, what is the single most important factor in the control of quality for manufactured products? Measurement, by all means. Metrology is a very, very serious subject when it comes to manufacturing. And the people who take control and understand it are able to use it effectively by creating better products, uh, less expensive products, and also create new uh, situations whereby they can set themselves apart from the competition. Very good. Now, what is the difference between accredited calibration and non-accredited calibration? Very significant difference. Accredited calibration is calibrations that was authenticated by someone else, a third party, whereas non-accredited really cannot be verified. So it's a very simple thing. You have to have a third party verifying your process, and it's very important that that process is authenticated and validated so that when you give the data to a client, they can use it effectively in their measuring uh, capabilities. Very good. Now, Basant, who are some of your customers? They're wide-ranging from the automotive industry, like a Honda, General Motors, uh, Chrysler, and uh, all the way to biotechnology people, uh, the food industry, agriculture, um, electronics, uh, computers, people who, you know, people that make computers, um, Apotech, the pharmaceutical industry. So it's a very, very wide range of expertise. And, and a lot of customers are from all over the place. So mm -hmm. it's, it's a very, very large contingency. So you must have a, a training and language yes. training problem, have you not? Well, what we really have done, too, as part of DMM's capability is created our own in-house learning systems, ah. which are automated. This way we can bring people who have just graduated and put them into, into the, sy the system very easily. They can self-teach themselves and uh, be able to use the technology within a matter of six months to get on board. <clears throat> now, who would best benefit from your services? Basically, any of the manu manufacturing sector, anyone who is manufacturing a product can use our facilities. And we provide them with uh, online support. So once they're using our accredited calibration services, uh, they can track all their instruments on our site. So we have an interactive type of capability that is making more and more uh, easier for them to use our services and save a lot of money. All right. Now, at this juncture, we turn to the future, uh, Basan. And uh, what I'd like to ask you to do is give our viewers a prediction of what you see in your uh, measurement business. 
uh, over the next two years? What I see is that I think manufacturers are becoming very uh, understanding of what the clients really need at the bottom end. They need products and services that are envir environmentally friendly and that are of very good quality so mm -hmm. they don't have to look elsewhere for this. I think we are now understanding this and trying to work with it. And so the future is really a bright one, especially knowing that a lot of the manufacturing is being exported. We have to come up with new thinking, new technologies, and new areas to, to serve our people, basically. Very good. Well, the clock tells me we're going to have to terminate this discussion of a matter that is not as well known as it really should be. And so I'm very grateful to you, Bassan, for giving us a good education on this overall measurement uh, challenge that we face today. Well, I thank you very much for giving me the privilege. I think this was a wonderful experience, and I'm happy to be able to get this subject matter over to the public. Hopefully Very they can good. understand and impose on the manufacturers to do better. And thank you for watching. Until next time, for 21st Century Business, I'm Alexander Hayes.